At 31 milliseconds, the carbon fiber hull is visibly deflecting. The hydrostatic pressure is acting to neck the cylinder around its middle as if tightening a deadly belt. At 33 milliseconds, the middle of the cylinder collapsed to half its diameter. The submersible appears to be intact. At 34 milliseconds, the cylinder is pinched small enough to crush anyone seated in the middle of the vessel and the hull seems to be breaking up. At 35 milliseconds, the middle of the Titan gives way. Separation of the hull, the rush of water combined with fragments of composite material would have horrible obliterating effects on any human or animal tissue, even bone. Nobody could possibly be left intact. At 38 milliseconds, fragments of the titanium ring and the hull have been thrust into the end caps. At 42 milliseconds, debris appears to have been propelled into the volume around what was once the submersible. These are the milliseconds that lead to the implosion of the Titan submersible.